Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product that is King Kong A24 Smart Controller and this controller also used by ESP32 module so that you can easily to integrate to Home Assistant by ESP Home because this all hardware resource supported by ESP Home Okay, this video I will show you the PCB and the hardware details and how it works in Home Assistant and some software documents Okay, let's begin see this hardware details. Okay, let's look at this A24 smart controller and this in front and this back. And this cover also can install on the DIN rail, just uh, like this, it's easy. And this time we have also designed the new Emilia. This is the cover and the print some labels so that you can easy to use and easy to understand on the terminal And you can see that is for relay output uh, that every relay have come and normal open and totally 24 channel and this time we have designed this menu country button because there are some different uh, so much relay so this can be used menu country button for on and off relay and this is LED indicate for every channel of relay and also this is the first time we have added this key type thermocouple so this, this you can see that support uh, three channel, a key type, uh, some couple connect with this terminal. So this temperature is range is large. So that will widely use in industry. And also you can see uh, there are some different uh, part for IS485, uh, IS485, and this is for power supply. And this is for analog output uh, that have two channel zero to 10 voltage output so that you can control motor or control lamp brightness. And this also you can see the analog input two channel is from zero to five volt and the two channel is from four to 20 milliampere. And this you can use by one wire device uh, such as DS18B20 temperature sensor or humidity sensor at here. And uh, this is digital input, so that you can use any dry contact sensor. And this is the antenna. And if you have installed the forge module, and this is another, you can see this another side, you can install the forge module antenna. So this is the whole box. We have new design for King Kong A24. Okay, we can look at this PCB. Uh, this is the PCB design for this A24. And you can see uh, there are two boards and this is just for the menu country button board and for the LD and this you can see uh, that have the in front of the side of the PCB you can see and this is the back so you can see this 
we have used ESP32 mode. And this is have a Wi-Fi antenna. This time you can extend the Wi-Fi antenna. And this can install the Forge module. Okay, if you want to use this Forge module, and you just plug this socket. And you can see that we have used the SIM 7600 module. So you can use the Forge and the GPS function at the same time. So you just plug it here, and you will see uh, that have a GPS antenna, and that is for 4G. I also have printed the switch, also support the 4G. So this can extend the antenna in our uh, out of our box. Okay, uh, this is the 4G module. So this is the PCB design uh, for the details, and they are, this is user. 7 ampere relay, you can see uh, this is relay. It's also high quality. So, this is the PCB design of the in front and the back. Okay, now I will connect with my sensor and connect with my power supply uh, to this board and show you how it works in Home Assistant by ESP Home and uh, the software uh, document you can find in Kinkony website. Uh, you can see. Uh, all terminal is removable. So I just connect with my sensor at here. And you can see, uh, I can connect with this 2Y for power supply. And I will connect the USB cable that have connect with my Kinkoni server, just Raspberry Pi uh, for download of firmware. And the last, I will connect with my Ethernet. Ethernet is stable, I like Ethernet. Then I can power on. You can see, I can power on. And now you can see this is power LED. The power LED is on. And this is the menu country button. If I have no firmware inside of this box, you can see, I can also to turn on this slowly. You can see, turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on. So every channel relay that can be menu country by this switch button and also turn off, turn off, turn off. So this not need firmware, just by the physically. Uh, if you the control broken, you can use this menu control button for 24 channel on and off. Okay, now let's look at the Home Assistant software. Uh, you can see this is a web webpage that have showed the 824 the board details. And you can see the pin define, uh, just I have showed you that for the module installed. And the pin define, you can see how to connect Y, the application, and every pin define at here. And you can see this is A24 for output, that is really output and two channel DAC. So that you can see I can turn off really every channel really and turn off every channel really. So you can see I can turn on and I can turn off. So this works by Home Assistant and this also you can click and you can change the brightness, just change the voltage output from 0 to 10 volt. So you can see this have two channels for dimmer and you can control your motor speed and control your light brightness. Okay, this is the second channel, also you can change by this way. And you can see here is the input, that is analog input, the two channel, 0 to 5 volt and the two channel for 4 to 20 milliampere. And this is the temperature. You can see the temperature sensor that have read from the red temperature range because this mainly for industry use. And this you can see that have the digital input, uh, 24 digital input. Okay, now you can see this is all hardware resource in A24. That also support by ESP Home. You can see we have configured in ESP Home. And you will find all the software resource at here in our King Connect 4, A24. That is pin define, ESP32. Every pin define for the hardware, you can see at here. And also you can see the config YAML file for ESP Home. Uh, just we have showed at here. You can copy and paste directly to use. 
And if you want to write your own Arduino source code, you can see how to use relay output, how to use input, how to use ADC, and how to use LAN for Ethernet, and how to use the temperature sensor, or have the demo source code at here. You can see that is easy to use and just a many source for use. And if you want to use the key type some cop, uh, you can see easy to find in AliExpress or on the market. Just connect to your A24 board directly. So that the A24 board, I think you can use in home automation or maybe you can use in industry for PLC instead of the PLC. Okay, thanks for watching.